Oh, you did a double stairwell here. Now. Wait, I think that was here before. That was here. All right, how much lumber did this cost? Uh, <laughs> Answer um, all. 5,000? Jeez. Oh, good, you got dark metal stuff. Wonderful. Yeah, man. Good. Oh, you must be doing linen and stuff now, too. Is, all the, is that the padded iron armor? Yeah, it's all padded iron. Very nice. Yeah, we're about to step up to the Halls of Greatness. Damn. Speaking of Hall of Greatness, though. Here, I'll just go ahead and sit on my throne while you, uh... Oh, did you... Oh, you finally got it done? Oh, nice. Oh, you need a TV and a TV tray, though, so you can get those uh, Swanson dinners up there. Oh, is this a, uh, a Lox cape thingy? Lox, um, pelt? Yeah, it's a, it's a Lox cape. Damn. I actually built, made it before the wolf pelt because I had more Lox. Because we went to plains oh. before mountains. Yes. And we were fighting them with, like, iron gear. A brave um, tale. It was a struggle. Of course. We made it through, you know. With three people, it's not too bad. Look at all the room in here. What's up? Did you fin uh, What was upstairs? Did you finish upstairs? Or this is just a hallway um, around? So the, the hallway is up here. This is going to be potentially more portal space if needed. Um, oh, right. And of course, you just get an overlook of the Great Hall. Uh, and then <laughs> back here, this is Lord Uthrus's chambers. <laughs> yeah, that, no kidding. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even think about building a fireplace like that. That's genius, putting a hearth like that? Damn. Yeah, the lighting sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work on it. Uh, That's cool. Oh, it's working for me now. Yeah, beautiful. And then I got my bed space up here. Oh, nice. You got like a loft with yet another mm -hmm. uh, little uh, trophy up there. Very cool. Oh, I, I love when you can make the wood inside like and that. I, and Looks I have so a nice. window all the way down to see the front room from up here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing, man. That is really cool. Yeah, so much wood trim, I tell you. It's just, uh, yeah, the trim. You can go crazy. I like how at least some of the interior walls come with trim on them. It kind of just looks nice, even if it's, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Well, I, I flip them around depending if I want trim there or not. Um, so a lot of the exterior will have that trim. And oh, then yeah. you can see with my with my abode, um, I, I faced it the opposite way. So it's kind of like a little bit of a detail out here. Yeah, it's cool to see it inside and out. I like the fact that you went with both logs and uh, planks for some of these uh, railings and such. This looks great. Well, it made sense to have the logs as pillar supports. Yeah. Because um, they're just more hardy. And, and the main beam holding up the roof, right? Um, that all the, the woodwork's joined to. Good thing is, too, you put all your lighting where you can actually reach it so you can refuel it. Yeah. <laughs> you always, you know, once you fill up those lights, you kind of forget about them until it all goes out. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh no, yeah, I forgot we had now. these types of lights in here. Yeah, it's like oh, was it resin or was it coal? I forgot. Do you have oh. a little bit of a back courtyard? There's no detail, but just more watchtowers. Oh yeah, okay. So you got a whole perimeter fence going around. Did you use mm -hmm. that? Um, I'm a cheater, and then the fly thing to kind of take a look at your whole camp from a distance. I, I've done that. Yeah. And oh, it looks I'm so taking cool. Photos, but, oh, uh, beautiful. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Is after the settlement was done, and I figured out I could do that. I was like, oh wow. Oh, and look at all the beautiful rafters and stuff here. Yeah, there's so much detail on the outside that it's just as nice to look at from the outside than it is in. Yeah, even the chimney has some wooden uh, detail on it. Yeah, good to have archer points, too, for skeletons, surprises, and trolls. Well, honest, honestly, I prefer fighting outside the town just so they don't damage it. Of course. <laughs> it's just like, please don't come in here. But it's good to have it just in case. Oh, wow, and look at that road, man. You got a highway. Beautiful. Where does yeah, the road we, go? We can start there. Here. Well, did you just jump the fence? Yeah, man. You Immer can. You can jump out from the fence. Immersion towers. equals zero. I can't even believe that. I just want an excuse to walk through the keep one more time. Okay, that, that's understandable. It's a magnificent building. It is. And the throne room is cool too. Oh, not to mention you have the kitchen in the back too that I wanted to take a look at again. I thought that was really cool that you guys put literally every food as its own box, or pretty much every food. That's yeah, amazing. if you can make meat out of it, you know, it'll go in the meat box. And, uh, uh, that's like the number one thing in this game is meat and mead and you're good to go. I love that. Oh, wow. Sadly, it's just raining and dark. I know. That seems to be every day in Valheim. It's either rainy or dark for me. Is there a way to change the weather? I don't know. It looks cool, though, because it really shows that you thought about everything when it comes to weather protection for a lot of things. 
Like some areas you don't have it like here, but that's fine. Well, um, you know, the water only damages it down to half. Yes. So it's not like super important. And certain uh, things don't need to have protection. Certain no. things. You got your fermentation going in here. This is storage, right? A storage barn? Um, upstairs is like bulk oh, storage. Oh, I um, love that's this. That's not even labeled. And then down here is kind of like the woodworking and hides. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You turned this into a woodworking slash storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Ah, the lighting is back. Good old lighting. There has to actually be a window here, but uh, tool shelf, you know, had to board that up. Oh, wow, and now I've, for the first time, reached a level 5 workbench. Very nice. Oh, yeah, got all the tool station stuff. Oh, that's great. I think ours is up to, like, level 4. We haven't upgraded anything past that. I love the smaller windows. Oh, yeah, that's a good detail. I made one barn that I'm proud of, and that's about it. Well, I mean, you know, as long as you have one structure that you're happy with, it's always good. What would you estimate the material cost on this one? Probably about a third of the... Well, this was the first building. This used to be the home, the, the crafting area. This is the first building I made. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we added on cart storage. Uh, the kilns and uh, smeltery used to be beside of it. Um, this one... I don't know. This one was only a couple trees worth. And now you put the smelters and stuff down by the river? Um, just the next tier down. It's just right there is the blacksmith. Oh, you got but, your blacksmith uh, down here. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I wonder, are you going to try to make a water wheel at any point? I wouldn't be surprised if you tried. If, if there was, like, a physics hinge, that would be oh, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. You actually set up your blacksmith to have it the damn bellow shooting into the forge. That's so cool, man. <laughs> where it belongs. Yeah. That's, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> like, you get so used to just trying to, like, put every... Because it's amazing how many little things need to be added. You know, like, you... you when you first start playing, you're like, oh, you can add a little forge cooler? Cool. And then you don't realize that, oh, yeah, by the time you're done, you're going to be up to, like, level 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it's that's, uh, I think this one's 6, so it's missing the large anvil and I think another oh, yeah. thing. Uh, probably another tool rack related thing. Uh, I think it actually just might be the large anvil left. Yeah, you got your cooler there. I'm trying to think, but oh, that that's great. I love the fact that you built a little forge like that. That's so cool. Not to mention, another cool thing is when you look at the actual item, you can see what it's linked to. So you can kind of count, you know, it'll like explode with a little firework. So yeah, and, you can then, tell and then counts. when you use it, you know, everything kind of lights mm -hmm. up. Yeah, so you know exactly where your stuff's coming from. Oh, you have your grinding wheel outside, too. That's another, that's the yeah, other yeah. thing I was thinking of. There's a very white run detail there. Yeah. Just gotta have yeah, no the, kidding. Ah, uh, yes. And are these your... Now, when you built this place, this was completely from scratch, right? No pre-existing structures? Right. There, there was nothing here to salvage. Um, it was just nice near the river. Kind of, It's very central uh, to everything. So yeah, like, you were close to your spawn. Across the river there to the right, that goes straight into a black forest. And then if we go over to the left across another river, that's black forest. So we're just dead center on Beautiful. a river. Yeah, there's the, a lot of great materials in the black forest. Yeah, yeah. And, and the river's nice because it allows you to cut through you know, and go out the other side of the island without having to go all the way around. And the mobs probably don't get anywhere close on this side, so you don't have to worry about anybody crossing. Yeah, no, not at all. So That's it's, nice. it's perfectly safe down here, um, especially since we finished the wall, because otherwise things would kind of work its way around, but now it's not so much. Okay. And I love the docks, too. This is, wow, you actually built your dock pretty high up. I, I like the fact that you brought it down a bit. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those things you realize about halfway through the build. You're like, oh, I need to go down. Yeah. But that's smart, though, because it means you don't have to have your uh, dock ever be covered in water other than rain. Oh, and then you have a smaller dock over there. That's yeah, that's cool. the uh, hunting lodge and fisherman's hut. Oh, is that the new thing? Yeah, that's the new new build that <laughs> just uh, kind of the finished. New, the new building that they added, and by they, I mean you. Completely from scratch. Huh? Hey, all so. my friends, you know, they're, they're hard workers. They're laborers to gather me all the wood for this. Yes, of course. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Yeah. Thank you, Odin. Oh. Wow, this literally is a lodge. You should rent this out for, like, a hotel. This is great. Wow. That's genius. Just to, I never even thought of using the hearth like that. That is amazing. 
Yeah, no, so, you know, very ski lodge kind of feel to it. Uh, yeah. At least that's what I'm pulling from, like, internal references on this thing. Um, yeah. So, like, hunting ski lodge kind of feel. Very alpine. Except and then not just so a much fishing on the dock outside. and a boat. I like the little boat. Perfect well, the outside, um, honestly, if I could pick up this building and rotate it, I would. I would like this bay window to be looking over the water. I think uh, that would be better. Of course. But it's just one of those things. Um, so, like, from here, it looks a little bit more lodgy. Um, looking back at it. Yeah, the window for sure. But yeah, again, it sells it. Great use of the materials of uh, log and uh, and timber too. And then there's the chimney there, right? Yep. It's just it's one stone one chimney floor. with a little bit of wood trim. I love these very simple platforms that you use for archers and for lookout too. Not very, not very complicated, but yet they look very good. Yeah, super super basic. Provides half cover because of the uh, st walls and stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, I, I come from like a, a somewhat PvP Minecraft background. That's where you were. That's where you grew up. PvP oh, Minecraft. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I just think of things like that from a PvP standpoint. Because from a player versus environment standpoint, honestly, they're kind of worthless. That's um, true. But they certainly look great, and also you can tuck them into every little corner, so that way it's not like something's useless. Like you feel the need to fit something into every nook and cranny. That has yeah. to be substantial. And they're they're good space savers. There's some oh, wood trim here on the front of the uh, castle, or mead oh, hall. The, yeah, the mead hall. Wow, and look at that. Oh, you haven't put little serpents or anything on there just yet, huh? I honestly don't like the serpents. You don't like um, them? They're a little too... They don't They don't match my building style. I'm sure I could come up with a way to use them. Um, Soon. But honestly, I, I wish there would just be like a head rather than the whole neck attached to it. Yeah, I understand. Because they're yeah, just a yeah. little too long. It's a little long, yeah. It's fine over like a door or something of a house, but it's hard to be decorative with them other than making it the centerpiece. Yeah. Yeah. And these are just standard homes here that you guys built? Yeah, so, you know, they're, they're kind of copies of the standard homes that you can find out in the wilderness. Um, and then I just kind of put my own twist on them. Uh, just that way they just fit in Valheim's world, because to me that's, like, important. It has to kind of, like, make sense in Valheim. Um, but they're, they're all pretty much the same. They have some individual storage for the people who play with me. Um, their own little cooking spit, fireplace. <laughs> the troll. Uh, it's just, it's I, hilarious because if you come out here and like look with the door shut through the roof, because there's that little gap. Oh, you, you can you, actually you see, see the troll head. You can see him peeking through. Yeah. Oh, I can see. <laughs> yeah, from here on the on the uh, stool. <laughs> hilarious. I love how big uh, the trophies can be in this game too. Like the uh, the locks that was in your great hall, and the uh, troll head. Very good. Oh, yeah. and beautiful. You know, they're, the they're, proper, they're, they're proper to scale the monster, you know, which is great. Wow, they look at this. That. Now, everybody's been saying, like, uh, the biggest complaint I've seen about the game is everybody keeps saying, are they ever going to improve the graphics? How, how do you feel about the graphics style? I love it. PS1, um, PS2? So, so to me, I, I would prefer it to be a little bit higher res, or, or like a cleaner pixel art style would probably be better for me. Okay. Um, I... I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me because the lighting makes up for yeah, a lot of the detail. But that's like, what you know, I was if thinking. I take out my hammer, it's just a muddy texture. Yeah. You know, it's not very readable. Um, so I prefer readability. Um, but I'm fine if they want to do a 32-bit texture. You know, I think I think pixel art's like a really beautiful art style. I agree. I, I like the how the characters look for sure, and I like the armor. But I agree with you on the some of the weapons could look a little nicer. Well, like, you know, if you look at your armor, for example, it, it's shiny and metallic, but you can't yeah. really tell that's... You, you know that's supposed to represent male, but it's not like... Yeah, it's is just wolf's clean. armor or iron. It's hard to, uh, it is hard to tell. Yeah. It is wolf. But the fact that you didn't know means that uh, you need to step it up and get the 111 hours I have in the game. <laughs> well, well, like, well, actually, <laughs> if you want to flex that, I, I'm at 107. Oh, nice. So. Wow, someone's so a big fan just doing. as much as me. We uh, took the uh, idea that you had, by the way, the, the bonfire, we added that to our town and uh, threw a little stone around it and it looks really nice. Really yeah. cool to actually be able to sit outside and do that. Now, you, I don't think I saw this gate before. The, do you have a road that goes somewhere else? Important? 
Um, there's, so there's two gates, is, right? So I, I replant the forest around the oh. town all the time, um, and that's where we get all the wood. And so it just this one would go directly into the forest. Um, it just kind of helps with that. Oh, okay. So it yeah helps to bring in the carts and stuff. And then out there is some spawned homes, right? Just random server. Yep, based just ones. just some random ones. Um, okay. And so you know the the temper framing and, and the triangle shaped roofs. You know, I just copy that over. And um, I think the biggest thing that I changed on those is I used half walls um, as the height, so mine are a little bit closer to the ground because um, this Viking style kind of wow. abode usually it goes all the way to the ground so like the roof should honestly be touching the ground um but i wanted it off a little bit i see what you mean yeah gives you a little bit more headroom inside too i think the the perfect height in this game is like a full block and a half for headroom i agree um anything taller than that looks a little too empty and then anything smaller than that the camera comes in way too close another good point yeah now, have you started building in the plains at all, or have a castle? Um, I can show you the plains. We don't have a castle. The, the longhouse is the closest thing to a keep that we have. True. Um, I think that's I, really, traditionally, the biggest building that they would build, right? I don't remember any famous Viking castles, do they? Um, I mean, you know, they, they would do uh, probably a moat and, and a wooden castle of some kind. Okay. Um, I, for, I forget the correct term of it. It's moat a and bailey? Moat and bailey, yeah. Um, where it's like a mound, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, and then a moat and a wall around that, right? And um... Wow. All these just look so wonderful. I hope everybody watching is getting some good ideas because this is just... That's just really lovely. A in fact, I would really like to see a... Uh, from all this construction, I'd love to see somebody create like a campaign. You know, like in Minecraft, where you can create a story mode thing. It'd be really cool oh, if there was I, like I an hope NPC they make mode. mods for this eventually. Yeah. I think mods would be super important. And that would fix um, your uh, gripe with the 32-bit, uh, you know, spruce here, that up you, a bit. Do you want to sleep real quick so it just goes back to daytime? Sure, here, we can do that. down of bed. I'm going to sleep there. That way we can see when we go to the plains, because I do have a little farm set up there. Okay, I'll... I'll sleep with my nightlight on. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> you got plenty of light down there. Oh, no. It's not bright enough for me. I had to be on the surface of the sun. I'm still scared. I like the, the uh, randomized streams that oh, your character yeah. has. That's kind of cool. Um, I always think of uh, In a Galaxy Far, Far Away. Yeah, the text is very <laughs> yeah. Star Wars. I know. I just want to see the dot, dot, dot with uh, the little starry background or something. Yeah, it just needs to scroll by really, yeah. really slow. And then it just says Valheim. <laughs> and it starts scrolling up, talk about Viking lore. So this is this is our plains location. I took I took a, a ruin and turned it into a barn. Uh oh. I can't go through. Do you have that ward going or something? No. Oh, I can't go through for something. What's it say? Uh, the portal's just not on. Let me see. Are you carrying any iron by chance? Oh, I am. Oh yeah, the metal detector. <laughs> Nope, can't, you know, TSA's here. They, they can't let you through, sorry. I'll go leave that in your guest your guest box. That's fine. I'll uh, just dump it somewhere where I can remember. Oh, good, you don't have anything here. Well, that explains that. I, I guess I forgot, like, this is the type of game where you can go from one server to another, and which is really cool. Items, yeah, because yeah, if somebody can't play as much but they love the game, you can always leave them a gift or invite them over for something. and You actually feel like you're visiting somebody's world, not just that you're starting over. Which is cool. If somebody's having trouble with the boss, you can always help them out. Yep. Ooh. Always show up with your with your black iron. Yeah. <laughs> Gear and just one shot it. Just one shot everything. So yeah, this the stone here is all a ruin, and I just attached a uh, kind of wooden roof and some workstations onto it. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, wonderful little farmhouse. Now in this game we have to grow. Now Bailey, sorry Barley. Benjamin Bailey. <laughs> Bailey is a dog. Barley <laughs> and flax have to be grown in the plains. So a smart idea to also leave the uh, the mills out here. Plus, they're always constantly blowing out in the plains. I've noticed it has high winds often. Yeah. But you don't need wind in order to... Like, if you put something in there... I haven't tested this yet, but do you know if, like, if the wind is lower, does it increase the production time of, you know, something from barley to bar uh, f barley flour? I've not had them any other place, so I haven't tested that. Okay. Uh, um, and theory. then also we have, you know, I, I use the motor buff um, for, for boating, so usually 
wind's not really a concern oh, for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then do you have a sewing wheel here, or spinning wheel at the... Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow, and it's load, <laughs> loaded with <coughs> Let me just, uh, linen. Nice. I love the little uh, tr table like this. This makes me wonder, like, will we get alchemy at some point? It'd be really cool to trade one material for another or something. Um, I don't know about alchemy. It looks more like an engineering-specific table. Yeah. Um, I'd well, be fine know. with more engineering it's got aspects. kind of chemicals going on with the whole... Well, you know, kinda. Dragon Tears is the energy source of the future. Yeah, for sure. We need more tears. More tears. Yeah. Well, this looks good. And then you're... Now, what are your plans for other things? Um, I want to make a... Well, I'll, I'll show you. Let, let's go over to the mountain. Sure. Because um, oh. there's a keep there that we took, and I want to clean it up and make it into a little bit more of a finished keep. Yeah, a mountain castle would be amazing. That's and, really where uh, you want to build a castle. Now, we found this thing right on the cliff face. So it's like right Aww. overlooking the whole area. Lucky. Wow, I did. every time I come into the keep, it's just like, is this a different game? It makes me think I'm in a Skyrim mod. And I so love right now, it's just here. throwing us into this ruin. So, um. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Wow, this is... Uh, now, you haven't done anything to this? Mm-mm. Oh, really? No, this is a natural ruin. Oh, I've never well, seen a ruin this detail. Well, a natural, natural ruin. Um, but you can see, like, we're right oh, here wow. at the edge of the cliff face. Um, pretty much straight down the mountain from here is the plains. But, it, like, it, it hugs it real nice. And of course, it's it's a snowstorm here. Yeah, of course. But it looks cool that way. Yeah, so you're way up here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It feels like. Now, was the dragon boss nearby? Is that how you found this? Yeah, the dragon boss is uh, just right there. Oh, nearby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? And yeah, this we... is the first mountain zone we went to. And we had a tower like this, too. We got lucky finding the, the dragon right away as well. But... Um... We did find a tower nearby, but it was on such a such a sheer cliff face that it's too difficult to get to. And uh, I think I saw a little bit of a wall too. So I, I think I've seen this style of a keep before, but this is perfect for upgrading a bit. Not too big, where it's going to take an unnecessary amount of materials, but yet big enough to where it can actually kind of be a, a kind of a formidable fortress. Yeah, and, th and the last time we were here, we gathered a, lar a cart full of silver. Oh, tried yeah. to drag it down the cliff. <laughs> oh, of um, course. And uh, about, I don't know, 100 meters out from here, you can see like a partially built road. If it was clear, you might be able to see it. But like, uh, we had to abandon the car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, really? Just lug it to the shore, yeah. Wow. It was just, I think you might be able to see something. Oh, yeah, things are clearing up now. Um, maybe not here. But like, we, we uh, of course. I died. Are you okay? I, I died. Okay. Is that your first death in Valheim? Answer no. No. Of course not. Die, die, die again. No, but when your skills are all over 50, it makes you real sad. Oh, yeah. My bad. These rocks look... Uh, oh, you know, the no, another good thing about the detailing in the game, too, is that when you're, when you're building a uh, castle in a different area, it kind of changes its appearance. Like here, you can actually see the snow stuck to the to the sides of the wall. Well, it also does snow very differently than in some games. Yeah. Um, I think it just does a ch check to the skybox and then applies snow onto the texture. Because mm -hmm. if you drive a cart around the area, um, around that base, the overhangs will like clear the snow off for just a second on the cart and oh. then as you move through. So it's, it's like just doing a direct check to the sky. I understand. Well, this is nice. You got a potential for four towers. Looks like you'll just have to rebuild one, but, and then the gate. So par partial yep. wall, tower and gate, and then fix up any other walls. But this is great. This would, if this was, uh, was a spawn in the uh, dark forest, this would be a really good start for somebody if they found something like this. You'd well, have I've, to I've, I've found uh, similar wood, but... things in the dark forest for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we built a uh, large wall and a moat around one of our bases, which was really cool. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Oh boy. I hope you can make it. 
If I don't take any more falling damage, I might. Ooh, that'd be another uh, good perk or something you could buy from the merchant. We've always been talking about what the merchant could, uh, you know, future items to make things interesting. Yeah, it's honestly kind of a shame that you can't make a basic fishing rod without the merchant. Yeah, exactly. I think they the should change that. Because the fish are just but... such good basic food. Um, then, of course, you can make tacos now with them. So. I know, with that barley, baby. That is some good stuff. Did you see the road down there at all? Oh, yeah. It, so you can see a bit of it, I think, from here. So was your plan to build a ro Oh, you're actually quite far away from uh, your, your HQ, right? Well, the, the shore is here, um, and so we came down this way. It got stuck, <laughs> and then we started to oh. flatten it out. Um, so you used your longboat to find the shore and then hiked it up here to find the boss. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Damn, this looks cool. Yeah, so the road's right here. There's like two sections of it because we fell off the cliff. And we couldn't even, like, the, the cart weighed 6,000 pounds, I think. Wow. Um, so You were it, not kidding about being full. I see your road there now. Yeah. I can see you running at it. So we, we tried doing that, but any, like, even a 1% grade uphill couldn't do it. Wow. Um, so it, it, we just had to abandon the cart and hopefully. Yeah, we, we got to about 5,000. And uh, a cart, by the way, good idea to store a lot of your materials in because it's it's so much better than a chest. Especially when you only have bronze at the start, it's a good bypass to not having the bigger chests. I don't even like the it. bigger chests. I don't even think they're worth it. No, I don't either, because they just cost too much and they're too big. And they kind of look uh, a little, little ugly. I do like the strong box though, the personalized chest. Some of that stuff. It looks, it looks cool. cool. It's it's just about useless. Um, there so the, the... the tallest peak right over there, that's where the dragon boss is for us. Yeah, I, li I like the small little strong box, but that's about it. Personal chest. Well, very nice. I must say I like... Now, you have w you have one more road back at your main base, right? Yeah, the, the main road to the south goes directly to the spawn. Oh, okay, so you built a road to the spawn now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you complained last time you were here, so... Uh... I did? Well, you know, you, you said that you, you are obviously better at building roads than I am. So, uh, uh, that is true. I, I had to fix that, so I made a little bit of a road around the hillside. Um, by the way, just as a reminder, with Open TTD coming out on April 1st, your girlfriend is still banned from uh, playing with or against us again. Look, I know. Just, it, just, it, just look, so why don't we know. just invite her to your team? And uh, well, she can be on my, my team. That's fine. I uh -huh. mean, she she does so well that she, you know, an hour in, she's uh, Elon Musk and is now building fountains in every town. No, yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe space shuttles, but yeah. So this this just kind of goes up Ooh. the hill around it and then back down. I really like building roads in this game, and it would be cool to see two villages of players kind of using a road to actually connect and use uh, the stone. I think I ran a mini experiment on this, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. But it it seems like if you are if you have a cart on stone, you actually do move slightly faster, very slightly. Oh but, really? Yeah, considering the distance. Like, I noticed we were moving a little faster, you know, on a stone road rather than a dirt road that we had made inside of our town. So it won't make a big deal if you're in a village, but if you're literally connecting two points, that's going to make a big difference. Well, you there's know, that, and I hope that time. eventually we can hook animals up to the road. Yeah, that's going to be cool. If we could have trading carts. This game needs... Now, right now, we can only play with ten people at a time, which is okay for early access. But if they open the door to have hundreds of people playing together... And if people really want to RP, who cares about PvE? It would be so interesting just to trade and go about your day. I'm not going to go down and pick up some barley and then swing by and mm -hmm. kill a dragon. Like, you know, whatever. It's It it just seems so cool to actually do something like that. Well, I, th I think what this game shows, um, and the reason I like it so much, and it just ticks all the boxes of from like a creative survival game standpoint, is it shows that graphics aren't everything. Exactly. Um, and it shows that... Um, you can have a, a relatively in-depth system, but have it function simply. Yes. And if you just expanded this out to be like an MMO scale, and it's like, hey, go settle the world. Um, to me, I think that would be a really fun game. Yeah, I agree. With uh, Among Us and Fall Guys and Minecraft being uh, some it. of the bigger games for the... Alex, what are you doing here? What do you mean? 
What what are you doing here right now? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just recording a little bit of uh, Uthris's world with him, and it's quite beautiful. We'll oh, have to. Uh, no, 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 no. It's totally fine. I think actually, you guys should visit too sometimes, so that way we can uh, all get some good ideas, especially from his great hall. Hi, Alex. I'm also Alex. Nice to meet you. Hello, Alex. My name is not Alex. <laughs> oh well, then touche. Touche. <laughs> wow. Oof. Well, one more boss to go. Are, are you got? Where is your final boss, by the way? Do you know? Don't know. Oh, you don't uh, know. We, you we've searched a whole island of plains, didn't find it. What does the altar even look like? It looks Have like Stonehenge. It? it looks like Stone. I found oh, like an archway, but not, not like a full Stonehenge. We haven't found. Okay, so apparently, what I understand is that his, his art is where he's going to spawn. Looks like a skull hand coming out of the ground. Ooh. But but you can find ruins that look like uh, you know how like in the crypts you can find those ruins that mark it on the map for you and say it's here. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. Something that looks like Stonehenge, and there should be attached to it somewhere in the around one of the backsides is a a ruin that well almost looks like this you know the, but red. And or they, or it looks like this. Yeah, it's like that exactly. Thing. Yep, that's what you're looking for. Oh yeah, okay. they they give it to you for free I guess in the first one. So yeah, that's what you're looking for uh, for the very first area we went to we found it well not the very first but what 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 is the final boss to me it looks like a lich or something. uh it's a half skeleton from the like from the chest up and he's very uh heated boss he's all about fire well, good thing i use uh anti-undead weapons yeah apparently uh the frost near is going to be very good because both frost and silver so thus what is it called blessed or blessing weapon spirit. or something like that yeah spirit so that apparently is a good one there, and then there's uh, of course more bosses coming. These five are not the, these are not all that's coming in this early access game. Up to nine, so they're gonna have to like redesign nine. the temple, I think. See, I I only thought it would be like uh, another boss or two. But oh. If there's if there's gonna be like another four, that that's pretty well, good. Well, I mean, we do have new realms, which you may have discovered. Have you found the Mistlands yet? No. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm there's... assuming that's just closer to the map edge. Yes, uh, yeah, exactly. The further you go away from the center, the more... Apparently there's two other areas, too, um, other than that one. But the Mistlands, uh, I'll let you discover it on your own. But there's a few other places with possible more coming. And one of the things I think is c the coolest part about this game is they've already put, like, all the biomes in. Everything's ready to go. It's just when you go to some of these other biomes, nothing's there. It's just, like, the landscape okay. and the trees. There won't be any enemies, from what I understand. Maybe there is a few. But, you know... It'll be updated later, and then it'll be worth going back to anyway. So if you find it now or find it later, it won't matter. You'll, you'll want to go back later and check it out. It'll be nice. good times. I'll, do, I'll definitely have to do that, because uh, we're, we're about done. We might be starting a new save very soon. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you beat it, go back and uh, do something different from what you've learned. Oh, look at this. Wow, that's crazy how cool that looks. Uh, that is beautiful. That is, that is screenshot worthy. That is beautiful. Yeah, even, wow. even you know, you got to plant some trees in your town, too, you know? That's true. We have a few. But also, it looks cool when you have uh, tree stumps around your camp. So it looks like you cleared it out so you can actually look for intruders or attackers or something. Good, good, cool I, stuff. I, I needed the wood. I couldn't, I couldn't leave. <laughs> every, every, every tree piece. matters, yes. Every, every tree, every rock, eventually you'll be cutting everything down. That's why it's a good idea to take away stuff away from your base. So that way it doesn't look like a barren landscape around it. Otherwise, it doesn't look as pretty. All right. Well, thank you for letting me drop by. I think everyone should also check out Uthris's channel. I'll uh, link to some things down there if he ever goes live or whatnot, or if you have uh, building techniques or whatnot, you can jump on our Discord and ask around. Thank you for uh, giving me another tour, and I'm looking forward to coming back to seeing what else you do. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Thanks. thank you very much. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for the support. Goodbye, everyone.